First at six, TikTok troubles. A York County judge cracking down hard on students accused of taking part in the social media challenge. And those students facing larceny charges, vandalism, and much more. Fox 46's Destiny McKeever tonight spoke with the judge about how he's handling the kids in court. Destiny, you're live right now from the York County Family Court in Rock Hill. This judge is not messing around, right? That's exactly it. Charges could be really steep, especially for this month's challenge, because it's actually to slap a teacher. So Judge Guyton says he's not playing around. He wants all students, especially here in York County, to take this as a warning. The kids were going into schools in September and damaging bathroom property, school property such as soap dispensers and the towel uh, dispensers. That TikTok craze had over a dozen students in York County appearing before a judge. Tuesday, York County students, some of them only in middle school, got a taste of the courtroom. They face a number of charges ranging from larceny to vandalism, all because they wanted to go viral on social media. Now this month in October, the challenge on TikTok is to strike a teacher. And so that was why we felt we needed to get ahead of things because that's an assault and that's going to be looked at entirely different. Last month's challenge is costing some students their time. They have to go through an arbitration process, which may include community service, deleting TikTok from their phones and apology letters. But if the challenges get too out of hand, the next step could be jail. Even if it was meant to be humorous, if it violates the law and you're brought into the courtroom, I'm not going to treat you any different because of that. Judge Guyton says in his line of work, he deals with a lot of kids. And he says sometimes children don't think beyond the moment. So he's challenging parents to step up too. You've got to know what's on the kids' phones, who they're talking to, and you've got to have some control over what they are, are seeing and putting out there. And yesterday's court hearing got really heated. The judge said he actually showed the students where the detention center is located. And he said one student got so shaken up, she could not even speak. So he's hoping the students understand the seriousness of these charges. And he's hoping the parents will understand as well. Live in York County, I'm Destiny McKeever. Back to you.